subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Now the Delhi High Court recently recognized the right to be forgotten while directing Google and Indian Kanoon to remove a judgment. But what does this right exactly mean and how is it connected to the right to privacy? I'll tell you more about this in today's episode of KYC on Know Your Constitution. Now in general terms, the right to be forgotten is the right to have certain publicly available personal information about you removed from the internet search databases websites or any other public platforms it's as simple as that now this right is recognized by the law in a uh, european union under the general data protection regulation that is gdpr and has been upheld by a number of courts in the united kingdom and in europe but in india there is no law as such that specifically provides for the right to be forgotten uh, we did have the personal data protection bill 2019 which did specifically mention and grant the right to be forgotten uh, this provision as you can see on your screens gave an individual the right to restrict or prevent the continuing disclosure of their personal data uh, on three grounds now basically these grounds were that the data has served the purpose for which it was collected or is no longer necessary for that purpose or if the data was made with the consent of the individual and the consent has since been taken away or the data was contrary to the personal data protection bill or any other law but as we know the bill hasn't become a law yet but it is not as if the right isn't recognized in india because this is where the courts step in now the supreme court recognized the right to privacy in a very significant judgment in august 2017 it basically ruled that the right to privacy is an intrinsic part of the right to life and personal liberty under article 21 of the constitution and this is what the right to be forgotten has been linked to since then and in this judgment the right to privacy judgment one of the judges justice sanjay kishan kaul specifically observed that and i quote right of an individual to exercise control of over his personal data and to be able to control his or her own life also encompasses his right to control his existence on the internet this was august 2017 a few months before this two other high courts had the opportunity to look into this right and both the high courts took two different routes on 19 january 2017 the gujarat high court decided on a petition filed by one dharamraj bhanu shankar dave now dave was earlier acquitted in a kidnapping and murder case passed by the same court and wanted the judgment to not be publicly available but the high court refused to grant him relief noting that dave had not been able to point out any specific provisions of law that had been violated plus dave hasn't really um, relied on the term and the phrase right to be forgotten as such. but 4 days later on 23rd january 2013 karnataka high court took a very different approach and recognized the right to be forgotten specifically and i quote in sensitive cases involving women in general and highly sensitive cases involving rape or affecting the modesty and reputation of the person concerned it said this was being done in line with the trend in the western countries But after the right to privacy judgment in August 2017, high courts have taken a broader view of the issue, expressly recognizing the right to be forgotten and the right to be left alone. For example, back in May 2019, soon after the Me Too wave hit the country, the Delhi High Court was petitioned by one Zulfikar Ahmad Khan, who demanded removal of two articles written against him on the news website The Quint on the basis of anonymous harassment allegations against him. Now, while the news portals took down the articles while the case was uh, pending in the high court the high court also barred any republication of the content of those two articles during the pendency of the suit and in doing so it opined that the right to be forgotten and the right to be left alone are inherent aspects of the right to privacy which as we know has been ruled to be an intrinsic part of article 21 of the constitution now in november last year the orissa high court also looked into the right to be forgotten as a remedy for victims of sex actually explicit photos or videos often posted on social media platforms by spurn lovers to intimidate and harass women and in delhi high court's latest judgment that i mentioned at the beginning of this video the court was hearing a petition filed by one jorawar singh mandi who is an american citizen by birth but indian by origin he was accused in a drugs case in 2009 when he traveled to india for a bit but he was subsequently acquitted by the trial court as well as the high court now 
Mandi seems to have then travelled back and apparently studied law but he now told the Delhi High Court that every time a potential employer did his background verification through a Google search, it led them to this judgement, the High Court's judgement. And he blamed this for not having found a good enough job so far. So he demanded a direction to three websites, Google, Indian Kanun and Relex in to take down the, uh, the judgment. Delex took it down during the pendency of the court and then the Delhi High Court took note of the irreparable prejudice that may be caused to Mandi's social life and his career prospects despite him having been ultimately acquitted and the court granted him interim protection. Google was asked to remove the judgment from its search results and Indian Kanun was directed to block the judgment from being accessed uh, through using search engines such as Google and Yahoo. Now for a bit, let's try to understand uh, that this isn't an absolute right in the sense that not every request for removal will be allowed. This is where the principles in India are currently at. Now the right to privacy judgment, the Supreme Court did give some clarity on this and said that the recognition of this right, and I quote, does not mean that all aspects of earlier existence are to be obliterated as some may have a social ramification. So it said that it cannot be removed when, say, the data is necessary for exercise the right to freedom of speech and expression and information, if it's necessary for compliance with legal obligations, if it's necessary for performance of a task carried out in public interest, if it's necessary for archiving purposes, for a scientific or historical research purposes, or for the establishment, exercise or defense of legal claims. These are the grounds that are listed down. There's another thing that the Delhi High Court also pointed out in its the latest judgment that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it said that where a court order is demanded to be taken down, the court will be required to examine the right to privacy of the petitioner on one hand and the right to information of the public and maintenance of transparency in judicial records on the other hand. So, as we can see, the jurisprudence on um, the right to be forgotten in India is still in its nascent stages. So, we'll have to see how it develops over the years. The passage of the Personal Data Protection Bill might also help speed things up whenever that happens. This is Apurva Mandhani for The Print. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.